Midnight Song Service is our thought for today, our message for today. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, as we reflect on midnight, midnight seems to be a very dark time. At midnight, a lot of things can happen at midnight. At midnight, if there is no light around, it's difficult to get along or to get around. It's difficult to know where you're going. It's as though your path has been blocked because midnight is a difficult time. But, but, but midnight in our experience can be a time of depression, a time of pain, a time of heartache, a time of problem, a time of depression, a time of suicidal thoughts, you see? So your, your, your midnight experience can be so difficult that you, you have the opinion, and I said opinion, did I say that? Yes, opinion, uh, that you cannot, go, you cannot go further. There is no point living from here, but I want you to understand, even though your midnight seems uh, unbearable and there is no way out that there is hope in God. The story was told of two guys, Paul and Silas. They preached and they were in prison because of preaching. They were good men. They were men who followed God. But they were placed in prison and they were, their hands were bound, their feet were bound. And it was midnight in the experience and midnight in the environment. But you know what the Bible said about those guys? The Bible says something interesting about them in the book of Acts chapter 16. The Bible says, here you know what the Bible says in Acts chapter 16, 24 and 25 and 26. It says, who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in stocks. They were bound. Verse 25 said, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises to God. I said, midnight song service. They were singing and praying to God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, verse 26, there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bonds, bonds were loose. Listen to me. Praise. They say when you praise God, the praise goes up, and the blessing comes down. They praise God, and the prison break open. They praise God, and the shackles, physical shackles, Woof, woof, fell off. You can praise God and your heart can get light. I say you can praise God and your experience can be different. So whenever you feel down and depressed, don't be afraid to praise God. Praise God in the good times. Praise God in the bad times. Praise God when there is food in the cupboard and praise God when the cupboard is empty. Praise God when the bills are due and praise God when you have money to pay the bills. You need to praise God in the dark times. And praise God in the good time because the song says that the God in the good times, He's the God in the bad times. And the God of the mountain, He's the God of the valley. So today I encourage you, in your midnight experience, sing a song service to God. Let us pray, Father in heaven. Oh, Father and our oh God, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you, to, dear God, to know that you hear us in the daylight and you hear us in the dark night. You hear us in the good times and you hear us in the bad times. I pray to God for somebody who is going through a dark experience right now. Everything seems to be going out of control. Family life, academics, uh, the work experience, church experience, everything just seems to be heading downhill. I pray to God that you will help them to know that they can praise you. And when they praise you, the circumstances, the situation can change just as Paul and Silas' experience has changed. We thank you for your love and we thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.